You know, we're going to talk about horsemanship now for women. I guess yeah. the men are kind of excluded out of this, so I guess I can leave the set at this point. I think you've got the answer to the high prices of gasoline. Oh, I do. Just ride a horse. Horsepower. Ride a horse. Ride right. a horse. If I could get to the clinics by horseback, I would. I've got it. Park yeah. a car, ride a horse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think horse, horses, especially, they need to keep the horse rates and get there faster. <laughs> go in the fast lane. <laughs> ride double, get a carpool. <laughs> there you go. Karen, welcome to the show. Thanks. Uh, Karen, Saturday, September 10th, uh, we're going to have a demonstration of, well, why is this horsemanship for women? Do not we have horsemanship for men or we don't care about them? No, it's, it's <laughs> absolutely the uh, horse industry is fairly dominated by men, especially mm -hmm. in the educational field. It is. This, I've been absolutely. meaning to speak to you about that a little. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, in... in uh, Horsemanship clinics in the educational forms, especially most of the clinicians are men, mm. and um, and that's how I learned. Mm -hmm. I have a degree in equine science and went to many many clinicians to learn about horses and yeah. horsemanship, and uh, I struggled with it because men and women learn differently. Ah. So they're really fewer. oh absolutely in well, everything what, or do what, you what do you mean I, by yeah. that? I think yeah. in many things. I think men, because they have a stronger physiology, mm -hmm. they tend to look at a horse and say, well, you know, I can go out and do that. And women go, you know, we're a little more vulnerable physically and we need a little more information. Let's mm -hmm. figure it out. Exactly. So in many things, in different sports, men go, why are the women just talking about this? Let's go do it. <laughs> so you actually figure it out and do it right. Yeah, I think, What you you're know, saying is I the men rush into it. More. Yeah. Well, because, you know, it, it makes sense. It's so what is horsemanship for women? How, how do you, what do you, yeah. what do you teach them? Horsemanship for women doesn't exclude men. I, I really want to make that clear because everybody can learn. I simply explain it from a woman's perspective. Oh, okay. So, you know, when, when I would do clinics, men would come to it and go, why are they still talking about it? Women go, you know, that's the best explanation I've ever heard of this step. You know, why you do this. This yeah. is psychology-based training. Yeah. How do you influence a 1,200-pound animal yeah. to do what you want? Are you saying that so. basically men are thick between the ears? <laughs> Well, well, a man thinks he can just jump on the horse and influence the horse using your exactly. word there. A exactly. woman would step back, figure it out, and see the best way to approach this. Exactly. Because oh. women are very good at causing a, an animal or, you know, you can't just go, okay, honey, go do this. I mean, you can, <laughs> but it doesn't work really well. Or they may do it, but they're not happy about it. So it's psychology-based training to cause the horse wow. to want to do this so, for you. So can, how do you do that? Is well, there, I mean, horses, can you tell us in a minute and a half? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> horses have a different psychology. Because they're a prey animal, mm. they perceive their wor world very differently. And in the horse herd, mm -hmm. there's a lead horse mm -hmm. and there's a pecking order, very similar to chickens. And so the horses tend to follow the leadership. Ah. And that's why this is horsemanship for women, because most women struggle with demonstrating leadership skills. Mm -hmm. That's not in our nature. We're taught to be nice mm -hmm. and always be, you know, <laughs> kind of soft and pl pretty well, clean. You that. haven't met Tanya Mock, have you? Have you ever met Tanya Mock? <laughs> Where was I when you were doing <laughs> that class? <laughs> Tanya's pretty assertive. Well, that's yeah. what women learn to do, especially in a position like you have. You, it, there's an assertiveness that you need to demonstrate. And, but most women are not taught this. Mm -hmm. Where men, even from little boys, yeah. you're, that's encouraged. Yeah. Where women are taught to be nice, and it doesn't work with horses. You can beg, beg, beg all yeah. you want. So. so this has got to be a great, great course because uh, mm -hmm. everybody loves horses, at least yes. everybody I know, and, and everybody would like to ride a horse. Mm -hmm. But isn't there a lot of fear? And, and maybe that's Absolutely. what you're alleviating. is Because the they're so big. Yes. Yeah. They're so big, but if you can connect with them mentally mm -hmm. and emotionally, oh. you know, I, it got to a point when in my own study, I started riding horses without a bridle or a saddle or... No kidding. No, yeah, and that's the level of communication you can reach with a horse. If you understand how they think mm -hmm. and learn to communicate in a way that they can understand. Is that why many times children or young people who fall in love with a horse or the horse seemingly falls in love with them, I mean, they just jump on them bareback, yes. they go, the horse does takes care of the, yes. it looks like they're even taking care of the child on, yes. on bareback riding and, mm -hmm. and they have a connection. Mm -hmm. They're one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It, it's that childlike faith. Yes. And that's what I teach adults to get back to. Mm -hmm. Children are natural with horses. Oh. But adults, we tend to want to, you know, put devices and control the horse. We have a lot of fear. And if we can let go of those things and get yeah. back to be more of a childlike approach yeah. with horses. Probably the men come too abruptly to a horse, probably. Sometimes. And it's Sometimes. scary, you know, and so they, and, and so they rear back. Right. So it's, the it's, horse it's feels a, it's a, slower, a threat. Slower approach to the horse. And, yeah, I mean, um, 
It's not necessarily slower, but it's more communicative okay. rather than it can be. Yeah. You know, it can be. But, but men tend to go out and say, okay, it's a horse, get on. I call it the motorcycle mentality. I own you, I feed you, <laughs> let's go. You know, where women tend to be more communicative and want a relationship, but yeah. that can work against them too because they go out and go, oh, little Bobo, you're so, you know, and yeah. Bobo says, give me the food, and, you know, <laughs> see you later. So there's two yeah. extremes, and what I teach people is yeah. to find a level of assertiveness, in particular yeah. leadership qualities, that the horse recognizes and is attracted to. How long a course is this? Usually a three-day course. Three-day course. I do half days over the mm -hmm. course of three days. So what's it. coming up then? What's coming up is a free educational seminar. And what I find is if people can come and see it, you know, see what it can do and look at that and see lots of different people doing it, different horses, different ages of people and horses, different breeds, yes. then they get they get interested in it and they say, wow, maybe I can do that too. Terrific. Terrific, terrific stuff. Yeah, thanks. You must be a fabulous rider. You know, I now I am, but if you would have seen where I started, yeah. oh, I, you know, God takes care of fools. But obviously, you're, obviously a great, <laughs> you're a great teacher. Thanks. Karen, did you want to comment anything on the gas prices or you got no comment? Well, I'll tell you what, um, you know, I drive a small Freightliner truck, mm. so it used to cost me $120. And now it is just through the roof. And I'm mm. thinking, you know, what, what I feel bad about is that I can't afford not to pass on that expense. So we're going to see the expense not only at the gas mm -hmm. pumps, but in, you know, the hay prices, mm -hmm. the truckers, everything. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's really unfortunate. Very that we have to good pass insight there. Expenses. Yeah, another great, point. Great insight. Yeah. Uh, Karen, thank you so very much. That's why it uh, gives, gives another reason to ride horses. Thank you. Karen, buy a horse. Buy a horse. Buy a horse. Mark it, buy a horse. <laughs>